welcome to Music with the Miss Innocent. Before we start, we're going to get ready and stretch our bodies up high. Let's go. Stretch to the side. Stretch to the other side. Roll out those shoulders. Big breath in. And let it all go. Today, we are going to be practicing the song Jambo. Jambo is a song that is filled with so many different greetings in a bunch of different languages. So today we'll practice a few languages that I know how to say greetings in. Um, our first language that we're going to practice today is Jambo. Can you say that? Jambo. So Jambo is hello in the language Swahili. Um, if you want to give an even bigger greeting, a very big hello to somebody, you say Jambo Sana. Can you say that? Jambo Sana. So today we're going to be practicing Swahili, English, Spanish, French, Hmong, Chinese, and Japanese. Um, those are just a few of the languages that I know how to say hello in. So I want you guys to try and figure out more languages that you can try and figure out at home. There are so many different languages in the world that we can sing this song to and try to figure out. So I suggest that once you sing along with me these few languages, try practicing your own languages that you've learned um, on your own. So let's begin. This is a repeat after me song. So I go first and then you repeat. Let's get going. <laughs> Again, I encourage you to look up other languages than the ones we've practiced today and try figuring out new languages that you've never heard before and incorporate them into the song. I'm going to now play without me singing about four verses through. 
So this way you can incorporate those in new languages. Or you can try being the leader of the song. You sing first and have a parent or a sibling repeat after you. Um, so I will play just the ukulele right now, four times through, and you try it on your own. Lastly, before we go, remember that jambo is hello in Swahili. And if you are interested in playing the ukulele on your own, if you have a ukulele, or even maybe if you have a guitar or a parent or somebody in your house has an instrument they could play with you, the chords that I am using are C and G. And those are the only two chords. So I hope you look up some languages. You practice this on your own with family and siblings. And I hope you have a great day. So I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.